Plus, clean cleaning means more effective cleaning, okay? Don't forget, it's more effective. It sucks up better, the power is better, nothing is blocking it, so yeah, let's clean our vacuums, okay? Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, Dyla's Homemaker Tips here, and today I am going to be showing you a tip that is so important that we neglect very often. So we're here watching videos about cleaning and how to clean fast and how to clean effectively and how to clean on a budget and all that beautiful stuff that we talk about. But one of the most important things about cleaning effectively is to clean your cleaning vacuums thoroughly. Luckily, I am here to help and show you how to clean it very, very thoroughly and make your cleaning as effective as possible. Now, if you don't clean your vacuums or any other cleaning, how effective do you think our cleaning is actually? I am a firm believer of cleaning your vacuums often because I feel like it does extend the lifespan of your vacuum. So today I'm gonna be cleaning my Dyson V6 that I keep downstairs in the playroom and the guest room. I am going to clean my Neato robot and I'm going to clean my Dyson V10. No. V11. I don't even know what I have, but they're both the same, so it's okay. Cleaning the V6 is so much easier, and it gives me the satisfaction of like, oh, this vacuum is spotless. But the others, unfortunately, you cannot deassemble everything like the V6, but I do do my best to keep it clean without keeping this long. Thank you so much for being here. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment, and let's get started. The first vacuum I'm starting with is the Dyson V6. This is actually an older model. However, cleaning this is so good because it detaches from the motor. Every single part detaches away from the motor so you can wash and soap and you know clean thoroughly and however you want. So right now I am deassembling the machine away from its motor. Then I'm going to take out the filter with, you can either use a screwdriver or a blade. Just make sure you don't cut anything. All I'm doing is just separating it from the actual filter head. And I'm just going to clean out everything thoroughly. And if you keep watching, I use my detergent water just to soften up all the dried up dust that may have stuck onto any of the corners and the nooks and the crannies of the actual piece. Once I clean everything up, I set aside to dry for 24 to 48 hours. You have to make sure everything is dried completely before you put it back together and use it again.
I did put a wet wipe to prevent any kind of hair and dust going in the drain, but the first vacuum is done. Now I'm on to my robot vacuum. I am deassembling once again. I do have to replace the filter and they cost about $20 for five on Amazon. Now I'm going to break everything apart. As you see, the brush is disgusting. So I really, really have to cut and clean everything off that brush. But this does not deassemble de away from its motor. So I do use a wet wipe to clean every single corner and opening the wheels. Just, you know, clean it thoroughly. Make sure there's no dried up dust left or any kind of debris left or hairs left. And make sure you clean out the sensors because if those sensors are dirty it can fall down the stairs and this is this goes for any type of robot vacuum and once you clean it up and just you know put it aside wash all the other parts with soap and water thoroughly and leave to dry Now I am onto my Dyson V10. Cleaning this one is a lot harder than the V6 because this does not detach away from the motor. So I am disassembling everything that can come off. And once I do that, I'm going to get on to cleaning the actual piece and I use a wet wipe for it because you really can't wet it since it is attached to the motor. You don't want to give any kind of water damage to the machine. So I am just wiping everything off with a wet wipe. I use a skinny toothbrush to get into the holes and any kind of opening there is with a wet wipe. And I do leave aside the parts that I can wash with soap and water and just really, really focus on any of the openings now these openings are really small so I am taking a piece of wet wipe and just sticking the toothbrush in there. Once I'm done with that I am soap and water washing everything that's loose and setting aside to dry. You also have to make sure that this is completely dry as well before you can assemble and use again. Once I'm done cleaning everything, I make sure to clean the vanity because there is a lot of fine dust around. I cleaned all my tools and we are good to go. friends for coming and watching this video I hope 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 this was great information for you to know and don't forget to subscribe hit that bell and I will see you in my next video bye